Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Um, I've always believed that Virginians look towards Richmond for outcomes and not just for illusions. And they expect us to be honest about the work um, that we're doing here at the Capitol. Um, but I think we all know, we're aware, we know it, whether it's subconscious or otherwise, um, that trust in government has plummeted. There's a Gallup poll from 2021 that shows that only 33% of adults in the United States place a great deal of trust in our most prominent public institutions. I feel like we have a responsibility to represent all of Virginia in these chambers, every corner of the Commonwealth, and to regain that hard-earned trust of the men and women who make the Commonwealth what it is and who ultimately send us here to do this work. And we can do that by refusing to engage in the illusion of either or politics. We can do that by being honest with ourselves when our policies miss the mark. And we do miss the mark from time to time. We can do that by recognizing when poor decision-making disadvantages people who are just out there trying to earn an honest dollar and trying to provide for their families. And one of those places where we've missed the mark, Mr. Speaker, is in Virginia's involvement in the Regional Greenhouse Gas Initiative. Reggie means an additional three billion dollars in what amounts to taxes for ratepayers through 2045. And that is not sustainable for Virginians facing, facing the staggering impacts of inflation. Inflation that shows no signs of slowing down anytime soon. Last year, Mr. Speaker, and this is sort of a staggering statistic, more than a third of Americans did not have enough cash available to cover the cost of a $400 emergency. And that's according to the Federal Reserve's report on the economic well-being of U.S. households. We have to ask ourselves, are we okay with that reality? Are we okay with spiking energy costs and duplicating tax burdens for Virginia families, many of which have emanated from this very chamber? And yesterday we stood in this chamber and we heard about Reggie's purported successes. And those successes are measured by some members of this body and others, and by Reggie's own assessments, by use of trading revenue. Not by anything else, but by use of trading revenue and the volume thereof. Meanwhile, Reggie has not been effective in, accomplish, in accomplishing its intended purpose. There was a headline from 2017, well before we actually joined Reggie, under the auspices of reducing carbon emissions that puts it succinctly. The Northeast's carbon trading system works quite well. It just doesn't reduce much carbon. Reggie doesn't do the one thing it's intended to do, and that's reduce carbon emissions. It's an artificial trading market, period. Virginians have been sold a bill of goods, and they've been told that opposition to Reggie means opposition to responsible environmental policy. And that is simply not true, Mr. Speaker. We all want a more sustainable for fu future for Virginia, and we want to protect our natural resources. You heard Delegate Kilgore enumerate some of the things that are in our part of the state, the Chesapeake Bay, which we've spent millions and millions of dollars and will continue to do because it is a true treasure to the Commonwealth. We want clean air. We want clean water. We want energy efficiency. <clears throat> we want to address the negative environmental impacts across the state, from the Appalachian Mountains, where I'm from, all the way to that Chesapeake Bay. And we're doing that through a variety of measures that this house has passed over the years. We're developing Virginia-based solutions for Virginia problems, instead of leaning on a Northeastern regional collective that can't begin to appreciate our capacity for innovation and our commitment to sustainability and our deep and abiding love for this Commonwealth. What our governor has simply requested is that we no longer hide behind the illusion of binary outcomes. He's asked for an honest assessment of the costs and benefits of the Regional Greenhouse Gas, in gas Initiative. And given that millions of Reggie dollars had to be spent to help Virginians pay their own utility bills, which were increased in part by Reggie itself, I don't think that's too much for us to ask. We cannot keep piling onto the backs of ratepayers just to claim we're doing something. We should welcome that honest assessment. We should welcome that autopsy to see is this really working? We should welcome the transparency, more results-driven policy, and more effective solutions for our Commonwealth. And that's how we rebuild the trust in Virginia. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.